In this video, I'm going to explain how some products claim to have an R value of over 11 when the product itself is only about a quarter inch thick. These products are usually consisted of two types of material. One product is a piece of fiberglass with two pieces of foil on both sides, or the other type of product is a bubble material with foil on both sides. First, common sense should tell you that no product only a quarter inch thick has an R value of 11. This is a piece of pink foam board. It has an R value of about 6 per inch. So a quarter inch thick foam board has an R value of about 1.5. Now, a typical 3.5 inch bat of fiberglass insulation has an R value of about 13. If you divide 13 by 3.5, that gives you an R value of about 3 or 4 per, per inch. So a quarter inch of fiberglass insulation gives you an R value of about 1. This is a product called SolarGuard. It's made by John Mansville, which is a large insulation manufacturer. It's got a quarter inch piece of fiberglass insulation sandwiched between two pieces of pure aluminum foil. Now they have a patent on this product, so if you see this product with a different name on it, you know it's going to be SolarGuard. In fact, there are some companies who promote that their product is patented, but when you look up the information, the patent number is actually the same. So how can some products promote they have an R value of 11 and only be a quarter inch thick? The answer, it's all in the fine print. So let's take a look at the fine print. This is the flyer provided with the roll of SolarGuard. It states this product has an R 11.6 with heat flow down. When you read the information next to the asterisk, it says, System R values per ASTM C976 slash C1363. Now the key word here is system air to air with a 30 degree Fahrenheit differential. These tests were conducted using a calibrated hot box apparatus at the John Mansville Technical Center, Littleton, Colorado. Note that this test was done in-house and not by an independent third party testing lab. The reflective insulation tested was 0.25 inches thick with foil facing on each side. The test sample was installed in the middle of a 2x4 wood stud cavity. The wood framing was 16 inches on center with 3 quarter inch plywood on each side. In order to get an R value of 11, the product was installed inside a 2x4 wood stud cavity and then 3 quarter inch plywood was put on both sides. This is the system that was mentioned earlier. The R11 test result for the whole assembly includes two layers of 3 quarter inch plywood, 3 and a quarter inches of dead airspace, and the SolarGuard product. SolarGuard, or whatever name it's being sold under, is a good product, and it works well as a radiant barrier when stapled in the attic. However, it costs significantly more than attic foil brand radiant barrier. Really, all you're looking for is reflectivity, and it's the foil on both products that's providing this benefit. You can buy Solar Guard or a bubble foil product for about 60 cents per square foot, compared to attic foil, which is about 13 cents a square foot. However, it will never achieve an R11 value when installed in a ventilated attic with air flowing on both sides of the product. It will only achieve the R11 value when installed per the manufacturer's specifications according to the ASTM system we talked about earlier. Without the system, it only has an R value of about one, which is the R value of about a quarter inch of fiberglass or the bubble product alone. Here's my advice for getting the best possible value and results. Install attic foil radiant barrier by stapling it to the bottom of the rafters and then take the money you save compared to these other products and add more insulation or R value on the attic floor where you really need R value. You can typically add about 6 or 8 inches of insulation which has an R value of about 19 for less than 50 cents per square foot. The attic foil will provide a radiant barrier to reduce radiant heat from coming in the attic and the additional attic floor insulation will help slow conductive heat from passing into the home. This method will provide the absolute best combination of value and performance. I hope this video clarified some of the questions we get about where that R11 number comes from for these type products. We get lots of calls and emails from customers who are unclear on this and I wanted to do this video to help clarify. Remember the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And be sure to read the fine print. Remember, there's no product out there that's a quarter inch thick that can provide an R11 insulation. At AtticFoil.com we try to provide the absolute best information for installing Radiant Barrier in your attic. For more information about Radiant Barrier, visit AtticFoil.com.